Welcome to the Centerville Volunteer Salute, the 34th that we've had over the years. We appreciate all of you being here. Many years ago, a gentleman who lived by himself and did not have a car as he was not able to drive walked down to the grocery store, as he did every week to get his groceries. He would get the groceries and wait out front for his sister to pick him up, take him back to his apartment, as it was too far and too heavy to carry the groceries himself. They had this arrangement for years, and it almost always worked out perfectly. Unfortunately on this day, his sister was unable to get to the store to pick up her brother because of an emergency at work. As there were no cell phones to notify her brother or Uber to pick him up, she was unable to make contact with anyone from the store to let her brother know that she would not be able to pick him up at the same time and that he should just wait. Well, her brother was impatient. He did not wait and started walking back to his apartment with grocery bags which were made of paper, not of plastic, far too heavy for him to carry, but he was doing okay until the clouds opened up and the grocery bags were soaked and starting to break apart with his groceries scattering across the sidewalk. About that time, a young man who was driving by on his way home from work saw this gentleman struggling with the bags in the pouring rain and pulled his car over and asked if he could help. The shopper was silent. Unaware that the grocery shopper was very shy, he got little out of him, but opened the car door and started putting the bags in his car and encouraged the shopper to get in the car with him, which he did after both were completely soaked. The young man was able to get, to the, shop, get the shopper's address, took him to his apartment, and helped him get the rain-soaked groceries into a part in his apartment and prepared to leave. As he was backing out, the shopper that he had just helped ran out of the apartment and handed the young man, without saying anything, a can of Coke and headed back into his apartment without saying a word. That is typical of volunteers. The tangible rewards are very small. The intangible benefits are huge and can be life-changing to those involved in the volunteer effort. There are a lot of things that we do and a lot of things we can do as volunteers, which we think are insignificant or non-consequential. But as the saying goes, in that situation, that made a difference to that one and that one alone. With all of you being volunteers, welcome to the 34th Annual Volunteer Salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Volunteering is at the essence of being a human. Simply put, no one has made it through life without somebody else's assistance. No city has been successful without the volunteers, and you are evidence of that and make our city successful. We thank you very much for being here this evening. We're able to celebrate because of you and the success of our city, the dedicated volunteers who give of your time to assist the city departments and contribute many, many hours to city operations. You make Centerville a wonderful place to live and we thank you all for that. I'd like if I could though, tonight we have a lot of staff people here tonight, which is very excited about that. And I wanted to introduce if I could, and just if you don't mind holding the applause, although each one individually deserves applause, if you would hold the applause until the very end, I would appreciate that. Uh, Wayne Davis, who's our city manager. I don't, Wayne's back in the back, right? Th oh, there he is, right there, okay. Mariah Vogelsgang, who's our assistant city manager. Mark Yandrick, our city planner. Rory Garrity, who is our human resources director. Doug Spittler, Public Works Director. And if you'd like to talk about any streets that uh, you'd like to have paved, D Dave, Doug's here to do that this evening. So. <laughs> and uh, Jim Brinegar, who is our city engineer. You can talk to Jim also about that. <laughs> Holly Chrisman, who is our Economic Development Director. Holly's right there doing a terrific job. Kate Bosdorf. Right up front, who just joined us today as public information officer for the city of Centerville. Joe Persuti. Joe is our city arborist. He does, uh, he was hard at work today. I don't know where, where is Joe? There he is, right there. Joe was hard at work today of uh, planting a lot of flowers at the city building throughout the city. Randy Bishop from Benham's Grove. Everybody knows Randy. Steve Marino, golf pro. And I know there's a lot of Yankee Trace people here tonight. Steve's doing an outstanding job with the, the city uh, golf course. 
Matt Dooley. Matt, one of the assistant golf pros, or golf pros here. Matt was here, There's, he's back there. Terry Taylor, golf course superintendent. But he plays the course, knows it's in outstanding shape. From the police department, Christine Smart. There. A Lieutenant Terry Wilson. Tyler, not Terry, I'm sorry. Got Terry on my mind tonight. Sorry, Tyler. And that's my wife's car tonight, not mine. So. <laughs> I think Lieutenant Levine was unable to make it tonight, if I'm correct. Is Joe here? Okay. Okay. A Lieutenant Mike Yoder. Then we also have uh, Mary Lou Pence. Mary Lou from, who's operation manager over at the Public Works. And Mary Lou, stand up for just a second. Mary Lou is retiring after 30 years, primarily because her daughter is getting married in September. So she's taken, she's going to retire after 30 years of absolutely dedicated service to the city of Senate. Margo Posick from our building inspection department. Margo. Laura Filicetta, she's been organizing this event the whole time. So, <laughs> Laura, stand up here. <laughs> Belinda is our deputy mayor, and she bails me out when needed, and, it's, and it is often. So thank you, Belinda. We also have from city council tonight, Belinda Kenley, who is our deputy mayor. <laughs> Bill Sayre, council member. John Pulcher, there's Mr. Pulcher. John, was, there he is right there. John Beals, council member. Mark Engert. And also from the council, our clerk of council, Karen Andrews. Also want to introduce, if I could, uh, former Mayor Sally Beals. Uh, Sally is uh, <laughs> instrumental in many, many good things in the city of Centerville. Thank you, Sally, for being here. And I think that's it. And what I'd like to do is, at this time, if I could, call upon Bill Sayre for invocation. Please join me in a spirit of prayer. Dear Lord, tonight at the end of a beautiful day, we give you thanks and praise for the great gift of community that you have provided for the people of Centerville. Thank you for inspiring the service of the volunteers who are gathered here tonight. We are truly blessed by all of the people who give of their hearts and minds to offer many hours of their time to perform a multitude of tasks that strengthen our city and extend our capacity to meet the needs of citizens. Help us to celebrate their service and accomplishments as we gather in fellowship this evening. Although they give freely of their time, we are also thankful and recognize the economic value of their service, which the independent sector places this year at $25.43 per volunteer hour, a 3% increase over last year. We pray that all of our volunteers find that their service adds meaning to their lives in the same measure that their service is meaningful to the community. We give you thanks for the many blessings we experience in Centerville, for our homes, our schools, our churches, our parks, our city staff, and our police and fire departments that keep us safe, and all of the other great amenities we experience, including this wonderful venue where we are gathered this evening. Finally, Lord, we ask you to bless this meal that we are about to share. We give thanks for all who produced it, prepared it, and will serve it. Use this food to nourish our bodies and our fellowship to nurture and strengthen our community as a place where your love can be expressed through our actions. Dear God, we give to you all of the glory. Amen. I wanted to thank Jason and the staff here at Yankee Trace uh, for the great job that they do. Um, the ladies and gentlemen who are working here tonight, thank you very much for a great job. You do a terrific job.
One interesting thing that Wayne did uh, during the Christmas luncheon for employee luncheon was staff ended up uh, serving, the Yankee Trace staff sat down, had a meal, and the senior staff served, and council members served those that uh, work at Yankee Trace. So I think that was a very nice uh, gesture. I think they enjoyed that that day. They were pretty daggone demanding, if I say so myself. <laughs> but, uh, want to again thank you all for being here tonight. Um, round of applause for Laura Filisetta. She did a great job at organizing this. And <laughs> Laura's doing an absolutely terrific job. Thank you, Laura, for all you do. I just wanted to take a, a, just a moment and mention that yesterday we had our uh, Centerville Business Breakfast, and it was the largest business breakfast we had ever had. Um, at the breakfast, we mentioned a few things about what was going on in the community. Joanne Ringer from Premier Health, Miami Valley Hospital South, made a brief presentation. We welcomed Laura Mercer, who's the executive director of Sinclair Community College. She spoke a few minutes about all the programs that are being offered at the Centerville campus, and we are very excited that, that Sinclair is here. I also had an opportunity yesterday. What we did was we started something new yesterday at the business breakfast, and that was to recognize a large business of the year, a small business of the year, and also then a community partner business of the year. And I just wanted to mention who those were. Yesterday, our large business of the year for the Centerville Business of the Year was GraceWorks Lutheran Services. As you know, they've done a tremendous job in our community. Uh, they just added recently the Crescent Crossing development. Um, very, very nice. And they are one of the largest employers in the city of Centerville, and we're extremely pleased that, that they are part of the city of Centerville. We also recognized um, our Small Business uh, Partner of the Year for the City of Centerville, and that was Minuteman Press. Uh, they do a great deal of volunteer work, um, nonprofit work at very, very reduced prices. It's a family-owned business. I think, I think, Laura, they said they've operated for 18 years, I think, was what they've been a local business for 18 years, and they do really a very nice job, and we really, uh, feel really good about honoring them. We also honored uh, the Community Partner of the Year, uh, which was uh, Bill's Donuts. They have been, as you know, a local icon for 52 years. And they started a new procedure this Sunday. They have decided that they wanted to open a drive through operation at Bill's Donuts. And, and Mark Yandrick has not approved that permit yet from our city planning department, but uh, we think that that will be expedited, right, Mark? That, uh, They've decided not to do that after all, after a one-day trial. Um, but I just wanted to mention, on the city council standpoint, we are extremely appreciative of all of you as volunteers. But I also want to mention that we really appreciate the outstanding effort that the city employees do for us day in and day out. There are some of these employees been to, with the city for many years, some for a short period of time. And they have really come together to coalesce around the five-year strategic plan, and I can tell you we very much appreciate that, and it is showing great results. Uh, most of the employees are very actively engaged with other governmental entities. It was a, uh, what we were really looking for was a tremendous cooperative relationship with the other entities that we work with, Washington Township, Sugar Creek Township, Montgomery County, Greene County, the state of Ohio. That was very important that we establish that relationship and a good cooperative because the bottom line is we simply are not going to be able to make it strictly by ourselves. We're going to need the cooperation of other entities. Our jurisdictional boundaries are strictly that. But uh, uh, we need to work in Cornerstone. We work with Green County, Sugar Creek Township, and the city of Centerville. So we're really pleased that the city employees have really worked very hard at that. A number of them have taken uh, leadership training. Doug Spittler, Public Works Director, Mike Yoder, uh, Jim Brenninger, uh, city engineer, Mariah Vogelsgang, our assistant city manager, have all taken, they've left town. Uh, Mariah got a shortened stay because she got caught in a hurricane down in uh, Virginia, but uh, about a week of time away from their family to take the extra special leadership training, and that we really appreciate all that all of the city employees are doing and really very pleased with how things are going. I think that the team at the city building just not going to sit back. We're not going to put it on cruise control. They're not putting it on cruise control, keep things the way they've always been, and hope for the best. That's not going to be the way they go at Centerville Building, and the team is definitely 
proactive in advancing the interest of the city of Centerville, its residents, and its businesses. So you have their commitment, you have our commitment that we're going to keep that proactive standpoint from the city of Centerville. So again, uh, to get a chance to thank one of our city employees tonight. They do an outstanding job. We are really pleased with the work that they're doing. So if we give them a round of applause, they do a great job. <laughs> A little bit of history tonight. This is the 24th year at Yankee Trace, and there have been over 700,000 rounds of golf played here at Yankee Trace. And, and Steve, I think you've probably started about 500,000 of those, have you not? It feels like it. Feels like it. <laughs> a, an absolutely great facility. Uh, it's the 24th year of uh, Friends of Benham's Grove, and Benham's Grove, almost every night anymore, is filled with people. Extremely pleased about uh, that development, and uh, we have one person here that uh, is primarily the reason why we have Benham's Grove, and that's former Mayor Sally Beals. And uh, Sally, you know that hundreds of thousands of people have gone through Benham's Grove, and you pushed that very hard with Shirley. Uh, she dragged the rest of us on council to go along with that. Can you imagine that? But, uh, and it was turned out to be an absolutely great development. So Sally, thank you for all you've done. We're very, very pleased with that development. This is the 34th volunteer dinner. This is our 51st year as a city, and Centerville, Washington history has been in place for 53 years. And finally, Centerville was settled about two, was settled 223 years ago this year in 1796. So on behalf of your council and those who work here as the city employees, we really appreciate all that you've done as volunteers. Uh, we have a lot of opportunity tonight uh, to go over and recognize many of the volunteers who have been here for a number of years with service uh, awards. But I wanted to mention a couple that uh, have passed this year. Uh, Joe Shepper, who worked at Yankee Trace. Uh, Mr. Clevenger, who also worked at uh, Yankee Trace, was a uh, Yankee Trace volunteer. And Bob Perkins, who was one of the award winners for the Volunteer of the Year. Uh, Bob passed away just recently. So if we missed those individuals. They were great, great contributors to our community. I just wanted at this time, if I could, if uh, Mr. Davis if, is here. Wayne, um, a lot of you have not had an opportunity to, to see Wayne all that much. He's been here for 20 months. He's been working extremely hard. And, and Wayne, if you wanted to come up and say a couple words, that would be great before we get into our words recognition. The mayor knows that I'll always uh, take an opportunity to get uh, get up and uh, get up and speak before uh, be before people to deliver the message that uh, we're here to deliver. That talks about the delivery of service. So, um, just with a show of hands, staff, uh, you can't participate on this, but uh, just with a show of hands, how many of you volunteer for some other entity besides the city of Centerville? Wow, I mean, take a take a look around. It's really contagious to, to be a volunteer. It's really, I think, what, what we find out, it's really a way of life because people want to become a part of something bigger. And so, so I think what you see is that uh, there's actually a connection between public servants and volunteers. Because uh, if you think about some of the criteria that, uh, that are involved with being a, being a volunteer, you, what do you think about? You think about somebody who, who has uh, a spiritual basis, who has gratitude in their lives, um, who, who are selfless, who are humble, uh, they're committed uh, to community. And that's essentially what we're trying to do as public servants. Uh, but think about it, we could not do it without volunteers. And that's why it's so critical that we take the time out to celebrate all of you because we get celebrated quite a bit and we're always up for that, certainly. We like to get recognized. But uh, we'd like to give it back and say thank you for what you do. Uh, this community would not be half of what it is without uh, the involvement of all of you as our volunteers. So our, our salute tonight is really to you about what you do for our community. Mayor Compton alluded to talking about uh, the University of Virginia and the Commonwealth Center for High Performance Organizations. We've sent several of our staff members down to, to the University of Virginia. We're fortunate to be able to have the resources to make that happen. Uh, and we've begun laying out uh, a model for, you know, 
continuing to move Centerville forward, one of the things that the model really focuses on, and uh, I'm looking back at some of our graduates in the back and across the room, but uh, talks about better, cheaper, faster delivery of services. So we're gonna focus on those three, and uh, see Doug Spittler in the back, he also graduated, and that was one of the things he came back with. He said it's called Pick 3 Plus, though. Better, cheaper, faster, but you also have to think about how you do it environmentally sound, how you do it uh, in a legal fashion. So we're really focusing on changing the customer service uh, definition in the city of Centerville. Not that it was bad, but uh, we have to be able to change with the times. And that's one of the things we're going to focus and emphasize and that city council has asked us to emphasize. So with your assistance as volunteers, we can't help but uh, not go wrong with that because I think you have the same, uh, same characteristics as public servants and that's the selflessness, the humility, the desire, the passion, and uh, the sense of community. So our hats off are to you this evening for everything that you do for us, for our community, and uh, we're very fortunate for the resources we have, none greater than our volunteers. Thank you. Yesterday I was at Yankee Trace, uh, just stopped, we had the business breakfast, and I walked over to the driving range and I got to talking to a gentleman there who was a volunteer at Yankee Trace, and um, I, I didn't see his last name, but his first name was Wayne. And he, he was extremely enthusiastic, and he asked me whether I'd had an opportunity, and I didn't introduce myself to him. I just was, he started talking to me first. I was just looking at the driving range and enjoying seeing people play golf, because I wanted to be out there myself right at that point, because it was a beautiful day to do so. But he started telling me, he said, well, you know, have you been down to see the simulators yet? And I said, yes, that's really good. He said, oh, it's really good for your game to go down there and get the simulators. You can really start working on your game during the winter. You'll be able to do that during the winter. And I said, yep, I saw it. It's really good. And he said, what do you think of the driving range? Isn't that really something? I said, yep. And I said, I really think it's great. And he said, what a great addition. He said, we're able to save the grass now for people who really want to practice off the grass. And, and I walked away from him. I shook his hand. and said, thank you for, very much for the information. He said, well, make sure you come back and play. And uh, I thought, wow, if that isn't a great indication of the volunteers that we have in the city of Centerville, and Steve probably knows, Steve and Matt probably know who I'm talking about. Uh, he's right on the money as, a, as he sells Yankee Trace and sells the city of Centerville. And I think that's what we hear when people come to visit here. They want to stay here. And that's what we're finding is that the whole atmosphere of being a city that's proactive and promoting itself and also the volunteers, you make so much for the city and make the city look so good. People want to be here and they want to visit here and they want to stay here after they visit. So again, thank you very much for, for doing that. We have a couple in attendance tonight who were the award winners for the Mayor's Volunteer Community Service Award. And uh, Phil McLaughlin. Phil won, I think, last year. Phil, where are you? Phil's right here. Also have uh, Cindy Monner Clay. Cindy won a couple years ago. Cindy's right up front here. Jan Prettyman won several years ago. Jan's right up there. Paul Clark. I don't think Paul made it tonight. I don't think he was able to make it. Bob Daly, right up front. Everybody knows Bob. He was one of the award winners. And then also Paul Hines. Paul was a winner of the Volunteer Service Award. Peck Gribben won in 2007, is that correct? Okay, okay. Thank you all for being here tonight. And you know, they all deserve a round of applause. They make the community what it is. At this time, uh, we have years of rec service recognition and volunteers you get a number of years, and then at five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years and above, they get a special recognition. At this time, I'd ask the city council if they would come on up and help with the awards. Are there more righties here? They're not here. Okay. Okay. Because, Peg, they won, they won with you that year, didn't they? John and Barb more righties? Didn't they win? Yep, they did. Okay. This year we have uh, five-year service awards. I ask you to come up and greet council.
And the five-year service awards are up front here. First is uh, Pat Bethel, who works in the city manager's office. Pat, congratulations. Barbara Collins from the police department. Rick DeVilbus from Yankee Trace. Bert Furch from Yankee Trace. Barry Ginnon from Yankee Trace. Is Barry here tonight? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Ken Heck from Yankee Trace. Ken? <laughs> Kathy Jablinski from the Arts Commission. Yeah. <laughs> Wayne Henschel from Yankee Trace. Larry Lindy from Yankee Trace. Barbara Penn from the city manager's office. Okay. Uh, Don Stewart, he serves on the board of the Tax Appeals and Planning Commission. I don't think Don is here this evening. Uh, Joan Stoppelman. And also Tom Stoppelman from both work at Yankee Trace. Is Mike Vacchiano here tonight from Sister City Committee? I don't think Mike made it this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Well, I think we'll get a picture of, oh, uh, Bob's going to get a picture of all the five-year award winners. Congratulations to all of you. I will let them. Our 10-year service award winners are John Brown from the Police Department, uh, Joyce Ray Brown. I think Joyce is here tonight. Oh, okay. Rich Gasper from Yankee Trace. Scott Graham from Yankee Trace. Yep, I thought Scott was here. <laughs> Bob Perky from Yankee Trace. I don't think Bob's here tonight either. I don't think so. Debbie Schmidt from the City Beautiful Commission. Thanks, Debbie. These are our 10-year award winners. Our 15-year award winners. Uh, somebody's going to have to take the picture this time. Uh, Bob Daly, 15 years of service to the city of Centerville. <laughs> Shirley Kemmerer Leary. Is Shirley here tonight? I don't think she is. Okay. I know that Frank Masterson is here tonight, 15 years, personal appeals board, and also volunteer at Yankee Trace. Frank Monturo from the police department. I don't, I don't think Frank's here tonight. And Clary Sack from Yankee Trace.
We have a special award. We have a 30-year service award for one of our volunteers who has been with the Sister City Committee, the Police Department. I know she's worked on a number of other things. Uh, Cindy Monner Clay. Cindy, for 30 years of volunteer service. And you get to say something if you want to. Do I you know want to? it's okay. I'm okay. <laughs> I don't want to point any longer than <laughs> Okay. Well, let's go on over and get a picture with everybody. Okay. This gentleman is not here tonight, but all of you know him, Marty Hole. Uh, Marty has served 35 years for the city of Centerville as a volunteer. And I have one little story to tell about Marty Hole. When I first got on council, Marty would always deliver the packets on Friday afternoon. And our boys would wait to see Marty. They would be right there at the door waiting for Marty to deliver the packets about 4.30 or 5 o'clock every Friday. So they would, they would be here tonight if Marty was here, but they really appreciate that. It was just a regular, we have pictures of them standing there at the screen door waiting for Marty to deliver the packet. So, uh, um, but Marty is, as you know, he's done a tremendous job for the community over the years, and what a great guy, and his wife, she did so much work with the community too. So I think Marty deserves a round of applause and abstention. <laughs> At this time, we're going to recognize the boards and commissions. The slide presentation earlier showed some of the boards and commissions that we have. And one of the ones that we have, and I just ask you if you're members of that particular board or commission to stand, the Centerville Planning Commission, uh, they work diligently with city staff, our planner, Mark Andrick, and property owners to develop the city in a manner befitting of Centerville's comprehensive plan and strategic plan. This often puts them in the unenviable position of balancing uh, the rights of property owners with the goals and vision of the community or create the vision plan and our unified development ordinance. Over the course of the 2018, they had uh, 2018 particular cases that came before the Planning Commission. Among the highlights were issues that they dealt with uh, Gateway Lofts, which is the development on Alex Bell Road, the new emergency vet center at the corner of Clio and Bigger, Cooper's Hawk, the new development uh, out at uh, Cornerstone, and also rezoning issues at Cornerstone, in addition to the first item that they had on their agenda in 2018 was Sinclair Community College, and that was somewhat of a contested issue. We're extremely appreciative of the great work that the Planning Commission does. They have outstanding leadership with Paul Clark, and if any of the Planning Commission members are here tonight, I'd ask you to stand and receive a round of applause. You do a great job. I don't think they have anything. Okay. I think they're at home working on the zoning ordinance. But uh, <laughs> the Stormwater Review Committee, uh, Mr. Beals uh, handles this. He's the chair of that committee. Uh, they serve as the mechanism each year to review the communication for drainage issues throughout the, the city that might come up every year. And that's being changed a little bit to become more of an infrastructure committee, which Mr. Beals is going to head up. Is there anyone here from the Stormwater Review Committee this evening? I don't think there is. Yes, yes, Phil McLaughlin. Thank you, Phil, for being here. <laughs> this committee, the Centerville City Beautiful Commission, about uh, several weeks ago, there was a full house here on a Friday afternoon or Friday for lunch where the City Beautiful Commission for the City of Centerville hosted the annual Tree City event for the Southwest Ohio. And the City Beautiful Commission that we have received so many comments and compliments about that event that they set a standard that I know uh, Sydney is the, the city that has to host, that is hosting next year, and their mayor told me that was going to be an extremely difficult act to follow. That we had a full house, I think we had uh, over 175, I think we're here from various cities throughout southwest Ohio. The city of Centerville is its 34th year as a, um, as a tree city. Mary Lou Pence, 
along with the City Beautiful Commission, organized that entire event, and it was an outstanding event. Uh, we were extremely, I think they were extremely pleased with how it turned out, and they put a lot of work into it, and I know everyone who was here that day. I think that, Richard, I think you taped that one, didn't you? If you get a chance to see that, that was really a very good, go to MVCC or on the Centerville YouTube channel, it's a very good event to watch. Also, the City Beautiful Commission does a number of other things. They host the annual education seminar, which they did again this spring at the Centerville High School. They celebrated Arbor Day uh, at Benham's Grove this year. Uh, Mary Lou Pence and uh, Laura were there and all the members of the City Beautiful Commission where we invite eight of the, eight, a representative from the, the, each of the elementary schools. They send a couple representatives to help plant a tree. And those kids are very excited about that, and the City Beautiful Commission does a great job with that. It's, it's very interesting to see the kids get into planting that tree every year. And they work very hard at it, so uh, it's something they'll be able to come back 10 years from now when they get married or have a family, come back and say, that was a tree I planted at Benham's Grove, and this year is Benham's Grove, sometimes it's Stubbs Park. They also do all of the, um, the plantings for the cities. They also recognize the homeowners for holiday lighting and decorations every year, and they present uh, the Residential Community Pride Awards during the summer for July, August, and September. City Beautiful Commission, I know there are a number of you here tonight. If you'd stand up and receive the applause, you do an absolutely tremendous job for the city. <laughs> Centerville Board of Architectural Review. That continues to steward our community architectural important center that we have in the city of Centerville. That uh, group monitors to make sure that they comply with the architectural requirements of that district. Um, we're going to have a new name for it, as Tom knows. It's uh, uh, we're architectural preservation, but it's also going as Uptown Centerville. And that's partially because uh, in the center of the city, right at the four corners there, that is the highest point in Montgomery County. So I think as you go up, you know, it's hard to believe that, that it is, but it is the highest point in Montgomery <laughs> County. <laughs> the BAR strives to keep a unified look and a look that's consistent with the historical nature of the downtown area. There's a number of stone homes in there. Uh, they do a really great job. Um, they also recognize through the Mayor's Award, somebody who's done an outstanding job in the uh, Uptown Centerville area. So this year, uh, for the Board of Architectural members who are here this evening, you stand up and receive the applause. You do a great job. Belinda Kenley, our deputy mayor, heads up the, uh, the mayor's task force for uh, business task force. And they started to work through some issues that some of the businesses were having, getting some things approved through the city of Centerville. Uh, Belinda Kenley headed that up, and a number of members served on that committee. Uh, they've done a really good job over the years at kind of getting through some of the red tape. And Belinda and your committee members, if you'd stand up from the business advisory task force. We did something new last year, the new community authority, and that gave us an opportunity to take, a, with Randall residents, it gave us an opportunity to do something special with respect to the financing that did not put the city on the hook. So the new community authority uh, is a way to take advantage of what the law allows as far as port authorities. And in this case, the new Randall residents needed that to uh, put their financing together. And the new community authority, I'd appreciate if all the members of the Randall Residence New Community Authority would stand. That's kind of a unique position for the city of Center Blatt. That's the first one we've done. So it, and we may see others, but uh, that's a really good tool. We have a number of committees that don't meet all that often, but are absolutely and statutorily obligated that the city maintains. The first is the Board of Tax Appeals, and that's when a taxpayer appeals an assessment that the city makes. And I think it's been our experience and our city direct finance director that no one is unhappy about paying taxes to the city of Centerville, so it's an appeals board that we don't use very often. <laughs> but it does, if that becomes a conflict, then that's where they go is the Board of Tax Appeals. We also have what's been referred to as the Centerville Property Review Commission, and this is when there's a property maintenance issue in the city of Centerville. And Sandy Heck, who's our maintenance inspector, has done an outstanding job over the years, and just recently we decided 
the Property Review Commission hadn't met in, I guess, Karen, what, seven years or something like that, that Sandy was doing such a good job. So the Property Review Commission, we rolled that into the Planning Commission. So if there's any members from the City of Centerville Property Review Commission, it wasn't that we were appreciative, we just didn't want to keep you on call for something that you hadn't been called for for seven years. So we, so we appreciate your service there. And then the Personnel Appeals Board is another a board that when an employee appeals uh, an action by anyone within the city, and that's usually uh, following a personnel decision, then that board meets to review the information presented and makes a recommendation or a decision on that, that particular personnel item. Uh, that board has not met for some time, uh, but they are absolutely and statutorily required to, to be in place, so we appreciate them doing that. And it also is the school district personnel appeals board has the same obligation statutorily to be made available by the city because it's the city of Centerville uh, school system. So the members from the Board of Tax Appeals, Property Review Commission, the Personnel Appeals Board, and also the School District Personnel Appeals Board, if you stand up. <laughs> Civic. Citizens involved in Centerville, these are municipal volunteer program and they work at all five of the city sites, the police department, city building, Publix Works, Benham's Grove, and Yankee Trace. And these volunteers are all part of the civic volunteer program for the city of Centerville. And they provide outstanding services in all aspects. And I run into a lot of people in the city, Jan in particular, I see her there quite a bit uh, at the city building doing work as a civic volunteer. Uh, last year is over 13,000 hours of civic volunteer hours in 2018. And using Bill's calculation, that's somewhere around $400,000 of money being saved by the city, by you as the volunteers. Our civic volunteers, uh, they take care of plotting accidents for the engineer's office and the depart uh, police department, scanning documents, serving as a courier in the planning department, performing data entry and reviewing plans in the business office, uh, photographing city events, uh, maintaining the city's scrapbook, Yankee Trace volunteers, a tremendous amount of volunteers out at Yankee Trace, do all sorts of categories, greeting, player assistance, North Range, watch the North Range T, green repair, course beautification, uh, special events and administration, when, which we have plenty of out at Yankee Trace. The police department uh, volunteers help with the short term, uh, one term projects. You'll see the center of a volunteer vehicle out there, uh, just kind of watching, uh, putting up the, the board occasionally and uh, tracking for number of cars that go through intersections, things of that sort. And then there's also the Centerville Citizens Police Academy. Those are alumni volunteers who work on special events such as the, uh, the Bike Rodeo, the Americana Festival, the Crime Deterrent Project, the Special Olympics, and the Law Enforcement Annual Torch Run, in addition to uh, when we have uh, the Mystery Night Out during the summer. So all the members of the Civic Volunteers, if you'd please stand, uh, we want to give you a large round of applause because it's definitely very much very helpful. The city has a Community Reinvestment Area Housing Council, and this is, is tasked with overseeing the city's Community Reinvestment Area Program, which offers uh, special tax benefits to those who improve their property or expand their property. CRA boundaries are set by the city of Centerville. We're very fortunate to be able to do that in the city of Centerville, and we've seen great benefit the city has, and residents and businesses have seen great benefit of that. This board plays an important part and they, want, and they are going to be playing a more important part um, in fostering that, that sustainable redevelopment within the city, which is absolutely crucial for the city's success. The Community Reinvestment Housing Council, I think, has five members on it, and uh, Mr. Gallagher is the chair of that, and if those members of the uh, Centerville Reinvestment Housing Council would stand up and appreciate, uh, appreciate all that you do. The Friends of Benham Grove was started in 1995 uh, to promote and preserve the, the, the gardens and the grounds at Benham's Grove and to develop special projects recognizing what a great facility that is. And they, f they have furthered that facility in many aspects. Over the years, they provided financial support to the community gathering place by funding all sorts of uh, projects up there. Uh, Enhance the Grove's building, the Rot uh, Rotary Gazebo, the Tent Plaza, the Pergola, Celebration Garden, and the Barn Plaza. Uh, many friends of the uh, Benham's Grove 
are certified master gardeners, and that's quite an honor. And they provided assistance and expertise to make the tremendous grounds that we have at Benham's Grove. So the Friends of Benham's Grove, which I know there are several here this evening, we greatly appreciate all that you do. That's a fantastic facility, and you make it much better. So if you'd stand and receive applause from the group, we really appreciate it. This group has a lot of fun. Uh, this is the Centerville Sister City Committee. <laughs> Having had the opportunity that uh, my wife Ruth and I have had an opportunity to go to several of their events, there's never a dull moment for the Sister City Committee. They offered an exciting trip over to Bad Fuesenheim, Germany, two years, two summers ago. Uh, they're in the process of uh, trying to work to obtain another sister city, uh, which has really been very beneficial to the city over the years. And then I think they're coming, is it uh, Germany's coming over here? In, in 2020. Okay. So uh, that's a big project. They bring over a lot of students. It's coordinated with the high school, and it's really a, a really nice event. But the, the Sister City Committee has always been a great committee, a lot of good fun events that they maintain. And if those members of the Sister City would please stand up for recognition, it's a great group. John Beals, our council member, is the council liaison to that group. The Centerville Arts Commission uh, promotes and presents arts to our citizens and a great deal of uh, community members not, that, live with, that don't live within the city of Centerville. Over the past year, the Arts Commission organizes and presents over 15 concerts at Stubbs Park, last year welcoming over 17,000 people. That has become a standard for many people in our community that you, you see the same people that are there on Sunday nights. That has really, a, really become the place to be on Sunday night and it's a good wind down to the weekend. It's ready for the next day. Great concerts, the Art Commission does a great job. Uh, Jim Collins is the chair of that committee. It's a really good committee. They also do a lot of other things. They have the annual Art at the Trace here in February. Uh, every year, that's a great event, very well attended, very well organized. A lot of local artists appear. I think last year we had, uh, was it 16 or so? Local artists present uh, art projects and really is a very nice event. In addition to that, at the police department, in the art gallery over at the police department, they have rotating displays, usually on the basis of almost every month. And it's open, the police department's always open. The Arts Commission does an outstanding job and that's the uh, summer concert series is going to start June. The, it's going to be June the second, uh, and a good concert selection this summer. There's a couple of new ones and a lot of the ones that everybody really loves every year. So the Arts Commission, you do a great job. Please stand up and receive recognition from the community. <laughs> that is a big project to organize that every year, and they they really do a nice job on that. All of the commissions have had great work during 2018. So we talked about the $13,000, 13,000 hours, about $400,000 of benefit provided to the community. Really appreciate all that you do. But every year, uh, the mayor has an opportunity to award, based upon nominations that come in, the Volunteer of the Year Award. And this year, uh, we honor a volunteer who is, as described by the nominator, a true treasure to the city of Centerville. This gentleman supplies a wealth of skills and knowledge in many, many areas. His expertise comes from a well-lived life filled with worldly adventures, a continuous desire to learn, and a former career that provides the skills to effortlessly comprehend his volunteer duties. This year's award winner has a love of history and military aircraft which has drawn him to volunteering each week at the United States Air Force Museum. When our award winner retired from his successful career just five years ago, he immersed himself in volunteering for the organizations which he has a passionate interest. This year's award winner commits his time to providing his services to the Centerville Board of Architectural Review and most recently served in the Architectural Preservation District, or Uptown Centerville, Visioning Committee, providing his unique architectural experience and knowledgeable perspective to this organization. This volunteer has a passion for the outdoors and the wildlife in his neighborhood, where he can be found walking his beloved schnoodle, named Harry, or gardening with his wife. 
We are extremely fortunate to have him at the city of Centerville, where he helps in many capacities three days a week in the building inspection and planning departments. His meticulous attention to detail and his comfort in this environment makes him invaluable to both departments. Those who nominated him describe him as a committed volunteer who can be counted on rain or shine, and he is willing to help wherever he is needed. He is a pleasure always to be around. He and his wife, June, live in Deer Run, where Tom also serves on the Homeowners Association Board in Deer Run. And although this award, as described by the nominator, is not the sports car he dreams of, <laughs> we hope that this recognition shows how grateful all of us in the city of Centerville are for him at the city of Centerville. Here to surprise and congratulate Tom Ovington are his wife, June, and his daughter, Katie. Tom, if you come on up. June, come on up. June has been a friend of Benham's Grove for many years and uh, works with Benham. So, June, we thank you for your service, too. Tom, um, why don't we, we have a couple things. I wanted one thing we have you stand up here if you don't mind. But we thought it was important to recognize all those who have won the Mayor's Award for Volunteer Service. So, we prepared a new plaque this year that will have all of the award winners and it will be placed here up at Yankee Trace. So, those who have won over the years and those who uh, come here to Yankee Trace. We'll always remember those who have served and been awarded the Mayor's Volunteer Award for Service. And uh, we are extremely pleased. This is a very select group of individuals who have won this. This community has benef benefited by all of them. And Tom, we are so pleased to be able to add your name in 2019 as the, the winner of the Mayor's Award for Community Service. Thank Tom, so congratulations. Tom, there's a couple things that uh, we've done different this year. One, we're going to give you an award certificate. We're also going to let you take the selection of what you would like to receive as the, the award this year. That There were a couple things that, that we thought we would check with you and see. One is we know that you've done a, a great deal of work at the city building. We thought you might want to have a city uh, uh, rendering from the city. Absolutely. Okay. And uh, if that's what you'd like, that's what you're going to get. <laughs> so, Tom, congratulations, and I'd like to have you say a couple things, if you would. Well, I'm really surprised and humbled by this uh, award. Uh, it came as a total surprise. Anyway, I, you know, volunteer at the city because I feel I need to participate in uh, the community and uh, offer whatever I can to help. So I appreciate all this recognition and thank you. Tom, just before you select that picture for certain, I just want to, we were going to give you three options, so I better give you the three options first. Uh, one was a $200 gift certificate to Yankee Trace, <laughs> <laughs> or a $200 gift certificate to a restaurant within the city of Centerville of your choice. But if your choice is still the picture, that's perfect. <laughs> but, so whatever you want to do, is that, that's fine. I'll take the picture. Okay, great. Well, we're glad you, we wanted you to take the picture. <laughs> And just a, something, a small thing to put on your wall is just a recognition of your award as the Mayor's Award for Community Service 2019. Thanks so much. And Tom, you have with you, obviously, your wife, and this is your daughter, Katie. My daughter, Katie. Okay. Who lives in Springboro. <laughs> okay, lives in, okay. Well, thanks again, and uh, uh, Tom, congratulations. Absolutely well-deserved. Thank you very much for all of you being here, all that you do for the city of Centerville. Appreciate your service. Thank you very much for being here.